I'd like to run you through some of the many features of this new battery analyzer from SP. Um, it does come with a uh, download cable so you can download uh, information. There's a little port on the side here so if you need to print out or provide to customers any printouts then you can. Um, we have the ability to test both in car and out of the car. Always make sure you've got a good connection to the terminal. We want to make sure there's no resistance in our connection so if there's any corrosion on your terminals make sure you clean them first. You can see the unit self powers as soon as you connect it to the battery and it's asking us here do we want to test it in the vehicle, out of the vehicle, in this case we want it in the vehicle so select enter and then it's just telling us what do we want to do, a battery test, a cranking test or a charging test, in this case we'll just test the battery and show it a quick and easy test. Um, if we had just charged the battery and there was a little bit of surface charge on it, it's telling us here that we should turn the lights on for 10 seconds and then turn them off again. Um, but we haven't just charged the battery, it's been sitting for quite some time. It's a regular flooded lead acid battery and we now need to select the CCA. Um, in this case we want our CCA on the sticker here you can see is 730 so we'll just hold this button down and it'll come up to 730 enter and it's now running its test so it's checking for internal resistance with inside the battery and it's coming up and here we go very quickly it's telling us this is a good battery it's telling us our voltage the uh, actual CCA of the, bolt of the battery as it's measured is 695 and obviously that's very close to when it was a new battery of 730. So that's our initial battery test. Okay, for the second test now, connect the terminal again. In this case, again, we're gonna select in vehicle uh, we're going to scroll down to cranking test, going to select enter and now it's telling us that we should start the engine. I'll leave that where you can watch it. Okay, so you can see it automatically runs through its test program and it's telling us here that the voltage while we were cranking the engine over dropped down to 9.75 volts and that that's completely normal. So that's the second test. Uh, we'll now go on to have a look at the third test. We'll show you the third test now which is the charging system. Again, connected to the battery. On the screen we select in vehicle and then we're going to come down to charging test, select it again, it's running through the ripple test at the moment, which is telling us that the power coming out of the alternator is good, now doing the loaded test. Okay, it's telling us here it wants us to increase the RPM of the engine and hold it to and a half thousand RPM for five seconds. Okay. Right, so now our testing is done. You can see that everything's normal, the charging output, you can see the loaded voltage, the unloaded voltage, and the ripple test. So everything's in good condition.